good evening guys so it's monday evening um i have had a pretty rough day i'm only starting to vlog now i woke up at about like midday ish hang on let me just turn there right. i need to get my bloods done but i didn't end up getting them done until like later on in the afternoon because obviously the sun is hottest at midday and it was just like it was just making my pots like crazy like my heart rate is about 120 lying down um, and then whenever I stand up, it go it goes to like 150 plus, like 150 minimum. And I've already taken extra beta blockers as prescribed by my like doctor. Like I have my set amount that I take in like I take beta blockers first thing in the morning at lunchtime, and then in between that I take like a channel blocker. It works on the channels of your heart, and I take that first thing in the morning and right before bed and then in between those doses of those meds um if i need to i can take extra beta blockers hang on tom's calling me anyway yeah basically i just had a bit of a rough day when i got my bloods done earlier i also got extra bloods done so basically i have my monthly bloods for my tpn and then every three months i have to get extra bloods to check like certain vitamins and then next month because it will be a year on tpn in october um, next month I have my yearly bloods where I'll have to find what the actual tests are um, but they, you get them done once a year so I've been having a bit of a rough parts day you guys know when I had my seizure the other week um, I also had quite a bit of gastric bleed and that did drop my iron and haemoglobin I have gastric bleeds a lot and I don't really get any iron in my TPN, a very small amount. Um, and then my heavy periods on top of that so I feel like my iron is starting to or my haemoglobin is starting to become, I'm starting to become anemic, like I'm iron deficient but I'm starting to become anemic again and it's just making me feel a bit rubbish. So we'll have to see what my levels are like when these tests come back and hopefully we can do an iron infusion or something just to like keep on top of it before it gets too bad because I just don't want it to end up like what happened last time where I ended up needing blood transfusions, like it shouldn't get to that point before my doctors intervene. Um, and on the subject of heavy periods, I'm seeing my gynecologist, or a gynecologist. I saw, I used to be under a gynecologist like when I first got my periods when I was quite like younger, like 15, because I had severe anemia then. Um, and obviously when I lost weight and became really underweight, I didn't get my period for a long time, so I didn't have to worry about it. Now, however, obviously, because I'm a healthy weight and my periods can't come back, I have to worry about it again so I'm seeing the gynecology people again and we're just basically gonna, gonna see what they recommend so yeah I'm seeing them on Thursday so we'll see what they have to say I guess hey guys so it's currently Wednesday afternoon I had one of the worst nights I have not like, I have not had a night that bad in a long long time I basically did not sleep the entire night uh, it's not that I wasn't trying like I wasn't on my phone or anything because I know that like, occasionally I'll post on Instagram if I can't sleep and stuff like that but I wasn't even doing that last night but I literally did not get to sleep till like almost eight o'clock it was like quarter to eight and that was only because Tom stayed late like he didn't leave for work at the normal time that he did that he does because when his alarm went off he rolled over and he was like please tell me that you slept and you haven't been awake this entire time because every time he woke up in the night i was like still awake i'm not like overly tired or anything i'm just a bit like over everything at the moment i'm just sick of feeling sick and not well like stuff's wrong i just feel like something's not right and i don't want to like put a label on it like iron or potassium i know it's not potassium i think it might be my iron also before you guys get too excited no this is not an engagement ring it was just the only finger that i could put it on last night and i didn't want to lose it because it wouldn't fit on the other finger i had to put it on this one it only fits on like the ring finger of that side of my right hand i couldn't put it on that finger because for some reason it was just extra swollen to last night anyway yeah it's not an engagement ring i'm sorry everybody <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I'm not really sure what is wrong. I think it might be my iron levels. I don't want to say I'm anemic because usually I feel a lot worse than what I do. But then, you know, I've had times in the past where I don't feel like overly too bad and it's been like quite low, like my hemoglobin. Sorry, I've got my heat back. It's kind of cold today. It's like raining and everything. So yeah, basically, I'm not going to babble. I'm sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. I just slept the whole day and I don't know what's going on with my body. It doesn't want to sleep when it's meant to, wants to sleep through the day. I'm sorry this week is going to be very boring. Um, I have an appointment tomorrow with the gynecology team at um, my hospital. 
And then I'm going out with the girls on Friday as of this point, but you know, depends how I feel on the day of life. I feel shocking, then I probably won't go. But at this point I'm planning on going. But yeah, I'm excited because it's like a blossom festival and I want to go with Tom as well. But yeah, I'm excited to go and like take pictures and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys are all well and you all had a decent night's sleep. And if you didn't, I'm sorry, I feel ya. I'm moving myself from the table to the lounge because I can't be bothered to bring my laptop charger in here. Okay, I'm now set up. I feel like it's been a while since you guys have seen me with a backpack on. I am basically running feed when I'm off TPN at the maximum rate I can tolerate, which at the moment is 15 mils, which I'm so, so proud of because when I literally first started that last Wednesday, it was only at like five mils, which was a lot easier I have no idea the, like the science behind it because theoretically I shouldn't tolerate this better than the Vivanex which is what I was on before but I do because the maximum I could get the Vivanex was like 10 mils and I'm getting this 5 mils higher at the moment but it also depends on the day because there's been other days when I've ran my feed and I couldn't get it up to the rate I have it today but today is a good day so I'm not complaining anyway um, I've vacated to the lounge I'm gonna try and stop myself from watching the television because I really need to get some editing and emails sent and it's not gonna happen if I put on the television. So I need to at least get some of those done and then I can watch television. <laughs> so, a little update. I just made an appointment to see my doctor tomorrow which I was really surprised that there was availability because I didn't think there was going to be. So I'm gonna see my doctor and then my gynecologist after that. I'm just worried about my bloods. I just want, it's more peace of mind. I'm just gonna let her know my concerns and then if she doesn't have the results from Monday, then she can request them. So then she can ring me when she has the results, basically. Just in case the gynecology people don't have them. Because they can do the same, but it, it, it'll be a lot quicker if my GP does it. Rather than the gynecology people at the hospital. Because the hospital just are very slow. And they obviously have a lot like more patients to see. Oh, I feel like I've been editing for hours. Like, I literally have three hours and I'm not even halfway done. I had like an hour and a half worth of footage. I'm down to 30 minutes, but I've only edited half of that, like 14 minutes of the 30 minutes. I don't realize how much I, like in my vlogs when I'm vlogging, I'm like, um, um, uh, mm, and then I'll just like stare off for like two minutes straight and I would have like cut all that out. Like, Loads of you guys comment that you're like, oh, just like don't edit it as much, like it'd be fine. I'm like, no, it wouldn't. You guys would be so mad at me. You'd be like, Amy, get yourself together. Good morning, everybody. So I didn't have time to update before I left, um, but luckily I didn't get stuck at too many sets of traffic lights, so I actually got to my doctor's like with a little time to spare. I am connected to my feed, but I just realised I've brought my handbag as well as like my backpack so I'm like oh now I've got to carry both. I swear my pump was beeping just then for a second but it's not it's fine. I got it up to 20 mils last night and I tolerated that for a little while but then I started getting really really bad cramps and when I vomited earlier in the day I did notice there was kind of like traces of feed in my vomit which happens whenever I run feed it backs up into my stomach even though my ch even though it's being delivered into the intestines it like regurgitates back up into the stomach and then you end up vomiting that's been happening since like before I went on TPN um, so that's like my biggest thing is that even if I get my rate up I don't want it to be regurgitating like I want it to <laughs> stay in the intestines and stay down and then I can hopefully reduce the days I'm on TPN that's my ultimate goal is to reduce the days I'm on it and then try and like get off it but it's so hard like once you're in t once you've like once you can't tolerate anything in your stomach anymore it's so difficult to try and get back onto feeds and then like oral meds like even if i could just take my meds orally i would be so happy with that just it sucks sometimes anyway i'm at my doctor's now um i gotta go get some prescriptions and get my blood results fingers crossed they're okay but i just i just feel like something's not right i don't know what but i just feel like something's not something doesn't feel right Anyway, I've got to go and I will update you guys afterwards and then I have my gynecology appointment at the hospital after this. Wish me luck. So I just arrived at my um, the hospital for my gynecology appointment. I'll update after, but just quick update on what happened at the doctors. 
my eyes low. I knew it was, but I didn't want to jinx it. I definitely knew something was off. Um, luckily, my hemoglobin's like just borderline, so I don't think we're going to worry about it too much for now. But obviously, we don't want to let it get as bad as what it got last time. My GP basically said, see what they say today and then go from there. And then she gave me another blood form to get more iron studies done in about a month. Anyway, I'm kind of running a little bit late. I've only got like 10 minutes. So I will see you guys after. So I'm home now. Um, Tom's over there sleeping. I was gonna update after my appointment, but then I didn't, and I just came straight home basically. Done a bit of editing uh, or just watching Mindhunter. Really good series if you're into like crime and murders and that kind of thing. Uh, and it's based off like some of the characters in the show are based off real life serial killers, and some of the like people look so so like the actors look like so much like the original people it's like it's scary so the gynecology people want my doctor continu to continue giving me iron infusions as needed so we will be booking me in to get one so my levels don't drop any lower than they already are potassium is a little bit low but not like i don't really need to do it i mean i get 70 millimoles of potassium every night in my tpn so i don't really need to do anything you know with that just kind of keep an eye on it because for me 3.7 it's not like low but for me it's low or lower than it should be my potassium always needs to be able, or my doctors like it for me to have it above four and it usually does sit above four it's very rare for it to be below four so just keep an eye on that but i'm not symptomatic or anything um so it's probably just from like vomiting loads or like you know like a normal person's what happens to a normal person's potassium basically it's not like periodic paralysis related she wanted to do the marina at first the maggot the gynecologist that i saw then after she looked up about like connective tissue disorders and she'd or she'd seen a note on the system from another doctor saying that like they advised against it because of my ehlers down loss so that's not really an option for us but it's not completely off the table there's other things that we want to try first obviously tried the pill that doesn't work because i can't absorb it the same thing with the tranexamic acid which is meant to like slow bleeding um i've obviously been on that since i was like 14 no 15 rather I, don't, I keep saying 14. They're the obviously two options that they normally would try but like I said not really an option because I can't absorb it like it doesn't do anything anymore and when I was on the pill I literally just bled the entire time and I ended up losing more blood that way. So Marina's not an option but we're gonna try the implant which goes under the skin to try and get rid of my periods and then she says if you if I keep bleeding with that and it doesn't stop them then she said there's hormones that I can go on to adjust my levels to hopefully stop them and then she said if that doesn't work she doesn't really want to do the injection because of my osteopenia because it's not recommended if you have osteoporosis or bone issues so yeah we're gonna do try the um implant and then if that doesn't work we can do the injection but she, like i said she doesn't want me to do that because of my like bone density is not great um especially being like a young age like normally like if you looked at my bone scan like it normally the that's like an old people's bones like that's what they should look like but i'm like 23 so it's like hmm and then if that doesn't work then we will have to try the marina but i really don't want to do that and neither does my doctor or my team so i probably end this vlog though tonight before i go to bed because i think i want to start a fresh vlog tomorrow plus i'm so excited to go to the blossom festival because like i said i'm going with all the girls tomorrow and then i'm gonna go again hopefully this weekend just with tom and we can take his big camera and take some like proper like professional shots so good morning everybody it's friday i didn't end my vlog last night i barely slept again i didn't get to sleep till almost six and then i had to be and i well i had to get up at eight start getting ready so i'm running on like hardly any sleep so i figured i'm probably not gonna vlog as much as i planned today so i might as well just add this on to this week's worth of footage that i've got so good morning on my way to go get chloe and then we're leaving our cars at courtney's and we're just gonna all go in one car to the blossom festival and rachel is meeting us there because she's taking her big electric wheelchair um so her support workers taking her and she's gonna meet us out there but the rest of us are going in one car so good morning hope you guys are well and let's start the day
The girls are about to climb on the top of this piano to take photos. I think they're idiots, but you know, whatever. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the hate comments now. Yeah. Oh God, please don't. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, so I know I haven't really vlogged that much today um, and if you've come from Rachel's, Rachel's channel you might see some similar footage that depends if I've borrowed it from her because um, she filmed some things today when I didn't and I was like, can you send it to me? So, all credit to Rachel, it's her footage probably. I'll leave her channel down below if you guys want to go check it out. And I'll also leave my Instagrams, well they're always in the description, but go check them out for, from pictures from today because seriously, it was amazing. I might pop up a few like a little slideshow. They say Mike's about to blow though. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like goggles, you can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Fuck the ride like Somo. Cause we be going off on the off nights. Cause I've been on, I've been on. Every single song I put my pin on, no. They don't know. Or maybe they start and do. Cause I work so hard that it's hard to lose. Top spot, I'm taking that face to face. Got a bottle of It was a really, really lovely day. I just wish it wasn't so gloomy because it kept like the sun kept coming out and then it would go away and we'd be all freezing and then the sun would come out again and we'd get hot so we'd all take off our cardigans and it was just one of those days so yeah i was so so tired when i got in i literally like went to sleep and i think all the other girls were paying for it now i'm probably gonna be tired tomorrow but it was such a good day and i'm so glad we did it also how cute is my necklace it says amy lee i think it's the cutest thing ever it was a late birthday gift i also got um Another birthday gift from Chloe because she forgot to give me the present that she got me when she, when the girls came around on my actual birthday. So I'll show you that tomorrow. It's a makeup palette and I'm super excited to try it out. Anyway, I just wanted to say I love you guys so, so much. Please go check out the Instagram and go show out the photos some love. I'll also link everybody's Instagrams down below if I remember. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. You, otherwise, you can probably find them through Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog over the weekend. We'll do, I'll see. If we're doing something interesting, then I will. But if not, then I'll see you guys on Monday. Um, so if you enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see all you beautiful, beautiful people on Monday, 100%. And possibly the weekend. Good night, guys.